So we're working on this map. So banks is what we called it, like the banks of a river. Nothing to do with Mary Poppins. Um, so yeah, we're working on the basics of it at the minute. Getting its structure in place and whatnot. I'll probably just chuck a couple more of these bridges in. Just so we've got them there for now. Okay, so I, w I wasn't sure whether I was going to have the bridge there or one level down. I think what I should do is have them one level down because that gives me the option to raise and lower the water, I guess. Something else to note about water is it's rectangular and it will destroy anything that hits it. So I believe I can raise it, if I raise it one level there, it will hit here, but it might also hit the, I don't think it will. Let me just have a look. So assuming the water level raises, I'm not sure if I if I'm going to have rising water in this to be honest. But six hundred, I think it's eight hundred will be the next level. But at least that would give me the option still. Yeah. So at eight hundred it doesn't hit the it doesn't hit that, so it still wouldn't kill them. So uh, what I say we do is we put bridges in, just placeholder bridges until Matt can replace them with something interesting, but not at that level, the level up. And then give every give each bridge a couple of ramps at each side. So you, so you can access the bridge. Sounds reasonable to me. I'm just going to shove shove extra bridges in. I think there's there's going to be three bridges. And then we'll get ramps in place for them as well. And then we'll move on to the next thing. which I believe is going to be um, like ele elevated areas so I can have areas for enemies to spawn and uh, maybe some dips as well for interesting terrain. Some elevations and dips.
whilst I'm working on these ramps as well, I'm also going to shift these boxes. I say ramps, they're not ramps. Huh. Changing the scale there is also changing its location. Let's not do that. Unlock its scale. Which direct it needs to scale in the X direction. So ten maybe. That's about right. Do the same with the other one. See, what that's doing is it's reducing the area that it's avoiding. Actually, it doesn't even look like it needs to be that. Mostly because it needs to deal with the areas where the bridge connects. Yeah, the Keanu Reeves is doing very well for himself these days. I think since John Wick, he managed like a complete revival of himself. So let's turn that down. Probably more than that. Seven. This is a bit fiddly. It does look like I can just shift it there, which is useful. Yeah, that's good. Again, about eight. That will do. Looks like the bridge passes through the underside. What the the tile ones as well so I'll have to deal with that uh, take a minute right should I deal with that now yeah I guess I can let's, let's remove invisible wall I think so I need to remove it from the underside tiles the problem is there's no way of visually seeing if it's actually happened. I just kind of have to trust that it has until I click off it and then it'll redo the... Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's been removed from all of those tiles as well. But that's fine. <laughs> They're inaccessible anyway. Fine. Okay, so that's one bridge cleaned up. Time to clean up the other two. The size of eight seemed to work with the other one, so let's give that a go here. Uh, yeah, size of eight looks like it's good here as well. There we 
we'll just make sure it's in the perfect position. I think that's fine. Probably fine here as well. I think that's all right position there actually. No need to change that. Right, let's get rid of the invisible walls. Should have done it. Oh, still one left. Cool. And the other side. One more bridge to clean up. I think this one needs to be slightly bigger than the other one. By the look of it. But not by much. So let's go with nine. See if that looks right. Yeah, it looks about right. This one's going to need a little bit more playing with. Position correctly. Uh, 8.5. To be fair, I am very much looking forward to Cyberpunk. I was a big Witcher fan, so. Who wasn't, eh? Game of the year and all that. Okay, hopefully that's some clean bridges. Oh, nearly. One more. And I'll save it. Okay, I think the bridges are in place. Now, I'll make them go invisible once. Oh, hang on. So I'd, I thought I'd done those. Looks like I did them at the top, but not at the bottom. Just did them in the wrong place. Need to re-add the invisible wall up top. Although I might need to remove it again in a minute when I add the ramps in anyway. Okay, let's save that. Okay, so today I'm, I'm going to be streaming for an hour. So that's until roughly half twelve. We'll see what we can get done in that time.
still dealing with a sore, sore throat. Working my way through a pack of strap tools. Saving at the moment. Just need to wait for it to finish. Okay. So next, I need to look into ramps so we can get down to the bridges. There's some over here. There's a bunch of ramps over there. steal some of these I guess I'll need six ramps I don't want I don't want these bridges to be hard to get to. I might need to re-sculpt the landscape a little bit. To accommodate them. But I will re-sculpt the landscape. So I'm just going to position the bridges how I think they should go. And then sculpt the landscape around it. Uh, bridges, the ramps. is I start rotating it and it rebuilds navigation each time and which pauses the rotation I need to stop that happening where's the nav mesh area it's useful for removing the uh, visible walls the nav mesh area not so useful Actually, putting stuff in the level. Turn all these to the Ecuador lamps. Lamps? Ramps. That seems like it's in an all right position. You're right, Gecko. We're just putting in ramps now. 
ramps and we've cleaned up the bridges. Clean bridges and ramps. Then afterwards, I think we're going to start creating some areas, some terrain areas for some decoration to go in later. And what's next after that? I guess we'll see. Okay, now we've got the ramps roughly in place, we can sort the tiles out around them. Now, can I remember the height? I've got a feeling it's height 3 I want to pick. Saving at the moment. I'm okay, Gecko. Apart from I've got my sore throat's got a bit worse, but that's not exactly a terrible problem. How are you? I'm working my way through a pack of throat sweets at the minute, or several packs of them. Some of them are just soothing ones. I've also got the antiseptic ones as well. I'm glad you're good. Problem, problem with having a child is they bring lots of colds home. I thought I had a reasonable immune system until uh, until I brought a small being into the world that likes to sneeze uh, whilst looking at me. Yeah, she's a year old now, so it happened during the time of uh, working on the game.
Yeah, it's very it's very rewarding being a parent. Obviously, there's a there's there's tough bits as well, but they're completely outweighed by the uh, by the rewards you get. I mean. All the achievements you get for being a pet now. Um, but yeah, it's very it's very rewarding, but it's hard work. I'm sure, any any parent will tell you. But you get used to it. There was one uh, one evening we had when she was like when she was ill, she had she just had like a turns out it was just like an infection, just like standard infection that you get. But she went really drowsy, and like wanted to sleep loads, and we were worried sick. We we even got like a three a.m. appointment at a doc at a doctor's, to get her checked. She was fine. She perked up when we arrived at the doctor's. It's like she'd been really tired and and barely moving and, and whatnot and just sipping water all day. Then we get into the doctor to she uh, she starts smiling and waving her arms about. Damn you, money! You're making us look like idiots. Yeah. Okay. So I think I've dug out the ramps now. Next, I need to get rid of the invisible walls around the ramps. Yeah, get back to your camping. Enjoy it, Gecko. I think as I get more experienced as a parent, I panic less. I still worry, but... I need the, uh, oh god, I'm gonna need the uh, nav mesh to re render, aren't I? Yep. No, I think this is the last thing I'm gonna need it for until we're actually ready to put it in place. Because it's such a big map, the uh, this is gonna take a while. 65,000 sections. Press P, we can watch it work. Okay, so specifically these ramps I'm interested in. I've got to get rid of the invisible walls around the ramps. Well, 
Oh, I should probably let it finish first. I wonder if I should like surround the map with the cliff edge. I could ever go quite high at the edges. Just out of interest. Yeah. I think it's probably gonna need a new name rather than Banks. I think Banks is a working title. A more interesting word about like the edge of a river or the two sides of a river or a river splitting two sections of land. Or something about bridges. What about now? No. No, I'm going to think about it. There's 33,000 left to go, but I can't see 33,000. I think it's going to get to the end and then just get done. I think it's thinking about the underground stuff, but that hasn't changed. I'm going to need to think about the underground at some point. Do I speak Spanish and stream in Spanish is car caliente caliente hmm. it's not really as catchy as towhead or right okay let's remove the invisible wall not perturbate. Actually, I do need to remove perturbation as well. So I'll remove perturbation first and then invisible wall next. Cool. Next, same process. Ah, it needs invisible wall there because that will cut that could cause issues. Ah, this, this is not going to be a neat, uh, a neat solution to a neat uh, thing here, is there? Oh no, that looks fine. Cool. Moving on. Perturbation is the uh, the randomization it does at the edge because it slightly randomizes the height of things as well, just visually. But if you have it where a ramp connects, it 
parts of it poke through the top of the ramp. It looks weird. So we remove it. Uh, again. Convince that's good enough. And then it stretches out into it. To be fair, all that means is the answer walks slightly further around the thing. Might be fine. I think. Yeah, that's no good. That looks all right, actually. Is that going to cause issues? I think it might. Well, maybe not if we if we remove the wall just from here, so the ants can't actually go into that area. Let's remove perturbation first, anyway. Did I just remove? Oh, I added invisible wall. Yeah, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that was nice and easy. Much less bothered about the ramps with with the the, the like the perturbation going through the ramps because I'm actually going to make them invisible. I'm just going to tell Matt to put something in to visually look like something straight there at those put points. All good. Okay, so again, let's save. Save frequently. It's always a good motto when developing. I actually wasn't a fan of Toehead's Underground. I think it's too it, it's too tall, so it takes a long time to, to dig anywhere. I might go for something more square for this one. But I tried something a bit different with it. I tried making them uh, rectangles. But I actually think square works better because you've got good access in all directions. 
And maybe in this one, I will start the, the player off closer towards the tunnel exit. Because if you are playing leaf cutters, you want, you're going to need to get to the surface pretty quick. So that can be a feature of the map. Okay, so a little more surface work. I think I want to give quite a lot of ground to allow decoration. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so let's raise the height to six. Quite a few areas. What I might do is I might make it quite a thin access to the other to the to the next colony point. So there's like a choke point there almost. Being ahead to when we do have enemy colonies. Same with this side as well, I think. I think I've gone up one too many on the whole way around. <sighs> yep. Oops.
Right. <laughs> Once I've created this mistake, it's taken me a long time. No, you don't. And we've kind of got a rim around the whole map. Question is, what do we do next? Okay, so I could make it go a bit higher around the very edge. I think I will do that. May as well do that whilst we're thinking. So the, kind of at the very edge of the map, it goes like really high. Uh, that's messed up there. It's going to need the brush size to be slightly smaller, I think. I've messed up there as well. Oh no, apparently that's fine. Oh, I did there though. a mistake there as well. I actually want the tiles at the very edge of the map to all be the same height because it will make things easier when we come to put the terrain in place. Oh, that mistake. Mistake. Nope. That did not help. There we go. Uh huh. So, like I say, I want the edge of the map to be completely at the same height at those points. I'll deal with them at the ed at the edges here, but it's just at those points. Okay, so now we're getting a, a much clearer idea of what the map's actually going to look like. And where our play areas are and that sort of thing. Now, I think each nest really needs a good three landmark possible points around the, around them so that'll be nine then i think to the left and right of each nest there should be one so for example one two three there one there one there one two three there one there 
one there. And that will probably enough be enough landmark points for the whole map. Don't really want to go too over the top with the landmark points. What are they called? Points of interest. Oh yeah, it's gonna need to rebuild the uh, navigation. A lot of waiting around when Pardon me. This is actually not as bad as when you gotta compile something. Okay, let's get these uh points in. Okay, so the way I want this to work is there should be three kind of in a I think two in front of your nest so more likely to be contested by enemies and one behind your nest then one off to the left and one off to the right I'm just going to delete all these other points and I'll just copy and paste the ones that I'm working with. I think it's easier that way. It's one off to the left. To the right. Okay, next. Again, two out in front. Well, that's kind of the out in front of this side because the ramp's there. One behind. One off. Oop, I grabbed that by the wrong arrow, I think. And again, I've done it again. One off the left. One off to the right. That is that one mission. It's a free it's a free play map. Yeah, it's a free play map.
Well, Mike's uh, an admin. <laughs> what he's here for oops yeah sorry I'm concentrating at the minute whilst I get these points in there's two in front one behind Ah, keep grabbing the wrong thing. Better. One off to the left. I think I've grabbed the right thing there. I think I am actually grabbing the right thing. I'm just thinking I'm not. And then one off to the right. It's the last one now. After this, we'll put a uh, we'll put the tunnel spawners in, and then I think it'll actually function as a free play map, free play map. It's not a very pretty free play map yet. We'll get that. All right, I think that's that then. Okay, so tunnel spawner wise, what I might do, I love the game, won't complain if he's focusing on it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus on it. I also haven't got the stream on the really quick mode, so it probably takes me a couple more seconds to respond to things. And it would Mike. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, just throwing money at something doesn't. Uh... Doesn't just speed it up. I know. I know everyone wants more content. We will get there, and it will be. It will be just. It will be high quality. We're maintaining our quality bar with it. Certainly for the campaign. So if I just shove these in place, I think it can be tested then. So I'll put two behind each nest. And then I think a few by the river bank here, probably near the ramps. I think we're good to test them. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of these. I'll just use the ones we've got we've got in place and duplicate them. Twenty mil, you have forty more people. <laughs> I think twenty mil would uh, buy more than forty people.
How to have that kind of money to play with. Right. Gonna put... been raining like like nothing for the past uh, like nothing been raining like raining cats and dogs as they say like since this mo since really early this morning I was actually woke up by uh, the noise of really heavy rain Probably gonna have to alter the landscape a bit as well to get these in place and looking right. Okay, moving over to the other side. Cause the best project <laughs> ever, man. And when it's Awesome, I've been dreaming of this type of game since I played Ants on the PlayStation. I haven't actually played Ants on the PlayStation. Is it, um... What is it? Explain to me. Oh, is it the... Is, is it based on the cartoon, Ants? It's probably a movie, but it's probably a game based on the movie then. Which game you have to survive, and this is based on the movie. Alright. Yeah, I thought we'd do something a bit different. Um, I mean, the minute it's all just placeholder stuff. I'm going to get Matt to like make some maybe pieces of wood for one area, maybe a couple of rocks uh, for another. But it's functioning at the minute. We did test the bridges yesterday. Two more of them. Okay, and now I want to put, probably put one there, one there, one there. I put one each side of, of either bridge entrance. I think that makes sense. To be fair though, I'm running out of time now for today. Um. Red ants can push the ants in the water. The ants have never, they've not been able to push ants in, into the water. But some creatures do actually have knockback. I actually think if you if you're fighting a whip spider right at the uh, like the giant whip spider right at the edge, there's a chance they could actually push them into the water. <laughs> that would be cool to see. <laughs> I think I did see that ants meme, where they're adding the workers to uh, 
the soldiers one. I do look at those every now and then. Right, so I should just be able to play it now with my save games here from yesterday. It should be not clear what she's got difficulty. It should be a feature, <laughs> a feature pushing people into the water. I do need. I I do want to come up with um. Let's just have a look on the surface. I did want to come up with something for this map. Uh, a rain was a suggestion because it is the rainforest. I don't really know how you do rain though. I'd need to look up how to do uh, rain. I suspect it's part of the particle system. Maybe rain makes the water level rise. Uh, grows. Like, uh, Maybe it can restore damaged leaves, that sort of thing. Okay, so that looks like it's worked. Oh, look at the little whip spider. Oh. It's interesting. I think that will be the new aura. Thing, but it looks like it's applying on the wrong thing. Applying for that's oh, definitely a bug. But yeah, that that'll be the new um, aura thing that's meant to be showing the what are they called the leaf cutter the leaf cutter aur auras. But yeah, it's apply. It seems yeah, you're right. It seems to be applying when they're hunkering down. So that's uh, that's definitely a bug. Oh no, hang on. These are graphics to represent. Oh no. Hmm. Hang on. Let me have a look at what effects are applied to him because they'll they'll definitely be based on effects. So it might actually be that he's applied them to something that's used all over the place. So the physical resistance buff, won't it? 
the leaf the leaf cutters give a physical resistance buff? Yes, they do. Yeah, they reduce damage, don't they? So we'll have applied it to the physical resistance buff. Not realizing that that's. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we got the map to to a point today where it's um where it's playable, essentially. As you can see it's a very big map. Yeah. The things are a are a bit spread out. But yeah, that should Seems like it's working well. I need to, uh, we need to come up with a, a map specific option. Um, so I think rain, rain seems to be the obvious choice, but I'll speak to Matt about it and see how he feels about trying to get rain in. Let me come, come back to chat. I'm gonna have to go, so uh, I'm gonna have to go now. But I'm going to come back to chat and answer your questions. Yeah. Uh, okay, so r perhaps rain messes with um, pheromones. Yeah, that is that is something I thought about. Maybe it... Uh, how would it mess with them? It could confuse ants on the surface. Maybe it randomly confuses them. Maybe it removes pheromone markers. Maybe it regrows leaves. Maybe it uh, raises the water level. Maybe it does a bit of all of these. Maybe rain softens the soil so mole crickets and the tiger beetle larvae can burrow. <laughs> I think they take consideration of the ideas. Displace them. Yeah, you could displace them actually. So... If it rains on a marker, if it rains and you've got a marker on the surface, the marker is moved to another location and then maybe 10 seconds later moved again, uh, just in another location near its current position. Yeah, potentially. We'll have a think. Well, I, I need to talk to Matt anyway about the visuals of rain. I also need to talk to him about the uh, the auras. I actually think that aura was a bit bright as well. Maybe it could be slightly more subtle. Anyway. Yeah, posit it needs some positive effects. So, re like, like we said before, regrowing the plants would be one. Which is good for leaf cutters. It's not so good for anything else. Uh... What else could it do? Maybe you can generate landmarks. Speed up landmark generation. Oh. Yeah, I suppose it could. How would you do that? You could increase acid resistance in the rain, so people took less damage from venom attacks. I'll have a think about it. 
Either way, I've got to get going. So, thanks very much for joining the stream. Uh, we've taken the map a significant chunk further this time. Um, and there's still more still more to happen to it before we uh, pass it off to Matt to do his, uh, his visual path. So, yeah. Look. Look for me next week. I'm not going to be streaming for the rest of the week because I'm meeting up with the other guys and we're gonna we're we're gonna have a long discussion about stuff going on with the game. But when when you do meet, oh look, there's some floating. Uh, I need to remove those from this. That's a terror head effect. Um, when you when I am streaming next week, which will probably be in the latter half of the week. I usually stream Thursday. Thursday is the most likely for me to stream. Um, but yeah, when you when you see me next week, ask me how the meeting went, and I should have some juicy, juicy gossip for you about the the future of the game. Okay, thanks very much, people, and I will see you next week. <laughs>